Welcome everyone to the YSN Player Profile Edition, Ursula Player Profile Edition, and I'm joined right now by Junior, wide receiver. He also plays some corner. That'd be Shaquille and Irvin. Shaquille, thank you for coming on, my man. No problem. So real quick, man, you know, you're a wide receiver at Ursula High School right now. I know you're a cornerback now as, as well. Pretty good <clears throat> defensive player too. You know, you're all about tackling those guys. Uh, talk about really a little bit about yourself real quick and why you wanted to pick those two positions. Well, I picked I picked corner because I just like guarding people, you know. And like for wide receiver, I just like walk in and I jump faster than everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little – so a little bit right there. Uh, so, real quick, so being a receiver, of course, you know, you definitely have to like catch balls. Of course, everyone now uses those gloves, of course. Make sure you stick them, I imagine, at the end. Uh, first of all, you know, when you're trying to catch those, how hard is it to uh, stick them up real quick and make sure that the ball uh, grabs onto them? I mean – it's really easy for real. I mean, I really don't even need gloves, you know. Like, <laughs> oh, so you go barehanded is what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, I, I can. So, you know. so, so you're more the old school 1960s type of wide receiver right there. Really yeah. You have to go barehanded. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, corner, you're all about tackling people. So uh, that's yeah. a good thing. Um, So let's also – let's flash back a bit now. Of course, you know, you're a basketball player too. And so yeah. we're going to go to tournament. All of a sudden, this whole pandemic hits late March. Everything shuts down. I mean, everything. Schools go online. To um, tournaments not even happening now, and we didn't even know if we'd have a football season. But then, of course, we got the announcement that it was going to be a six-game season. Uh, first things first. What did you do during the off season to make yourself when you were in quarantine? What kind of uh, did you like do a lot of hiking, a lot of lifting weights, and when it was time to go again for the uh, regular season, uh, how important was it that we had football back? Well. I was lifting. I was lifting like every day, like during the quarantine and all of that. Like I lifted in my friend's basement. So, and like when football started, I knew we was gonna have a season because we play in Ohio. We we in Ohio. This is Ohio football. So I was I was ready. You know, I ran. I ran some. I ran up some hills. You know. Oh, so you ran down a lot of hills right there, too. I yes. mean, uh, what hills did you run down? Was it like, you know, there's a bunch of hills in Mill Creek Park. Did you run down a lot of those hills? I ran down, like, it's a hill, like, by Ursuline. I ran up that hill. You're talking, you're talking about the uh, road, right? That little yeah, road, hill? yeah, the road. Yeah, right I know there, a lot yeah. of you guys love doing that, especially when a car comes by and then you have to move out of the way every single yeah. time. Isn't that a funny experience right there? But, I mean, all right, so – that's definitely, you know, I'm first of all, definitely glad that we have football back. That's definitely a big one here. Uh, let's also talk about real quick last week. So, you know, big game against West Branch, you know, playoffs course continuing. Uh, you know, you guys won, I think it was 38-31. You know, you guys had a big lead against them. They come back a bit. Uh, you know, there was a bad, I'm going to say this right now, there was a questionable call during a pass interference. I mean, pass oh. interference in the back of the end zone. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about there. Yeah. I was in studio watching it, a questionable call. You know, they score a bit right there, but you guys get the onside kick recover. I know you had, I think it was a 38-yard touchdown in that game as well. Yes. Uh, you know, talk about that game a bit and just talk about, you know, the positive aspect of it. What do you think you guys did well? And, you know, maybe some negatives and stuff like that. Like how, um, you know, what do you guys have to, have to work on? What do you guys have to watch to work on on film? Well, we went into, like, when we played West Branch, we knew we had to contain, like, the quarterback because he's a good runner. So we had to contain him a lot. But, like, the positive thing we did in that game was just win. Like, we're in the playoffs. We just got to win now, no matter what it takes. Just win. And, like, for negative, I think we got – we had too many penalties that game, you know. You know, but, like, a lot of the penalties it was, like, weren't good. But we had to go fight through adversity, I know, you know. Yeah, five through adversity indeed. Uh, during that game, of course, as we talked about those uh, law penalties and stuff like that, did a uh, coach tell you? Because I imagine knowing Dan Reardon and stuff like that, knowing that he's probably been through a lot, you know, disciplined players, uh, having especially during his past championship runs, especially his time at uh, Cam McKinley too. Did he uh, talk to you guys basically about like during film, uh, about like you know discipline and all that? Because there were a bunch of penalties. Was he kind of upset about that? Yeah, he was. I mean, yeah, he was. He, he was. was. Uh, okay, and clean. Okay, because I'm kind of picking on him now. But did, in a rated G matter, I know there was probably a lot of rated R stuff they said. But in a rated G matter, uh, what did he basically say? He told us that. There's some things I don't want to say, but <laughs> this is the clean version, man. <laughs> he told us there was going to be some refs, you know, that weren't the best. 
but we had to fight through it, you know. So he just told us about that. I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> he doesn't want to say nothing else. He's a top singer right now. He doesn't want to say nothing else. Um, but no, you know, you guys definitely had a great win there. Uh, moving on, of course, and you know, we'll talk about pulling here and a few other questions. But you know, great win for you guys. Of course, you know, if you want to replay that game uh, for fans out there, if you didn't get a chance to see it and you don't want to be spoiled by the score, which maybe some of you guys were, uh, you can actually buy the replay from our Wise Sun website. That'd be two ninety nine on there. Uh, you know, and just go by, watch the replay indeed. So also let's go for a little bit over here before we get to pulling. Um, so, you know, every player, they look up to someone, you know, they idolize someone. Maybe, you know, they have their parents also, um, you know, that are there to support them, part of that inspiration too. But they also, as I said, idolize someone they love watching, you know, NFL games, college games. Uh, who did you, um, like, who's inspired you a bit to play the position that you do? And, um, you know, how much do you like I- – well, my god, that like inspired me to really play football because you know I could really, really be good at it. So, and my coach, Coach Sam, he inspired me too. Like, some idols I look up to, those like Harris Ford, he plays for Pittsburgh right now, and I look up to Richard Sherman. Okay, so Harris Ford, Richard Sherman, of course, Richard Sherman, one of those good, uh, you know, one of those good defensive players in the NFL, of course, with the 49ers yeah. and all that, was very good with the Seahawks when he was there, won a Super Bowl with them. Uh, and it seems like right now, you know, by the way you're playing, you are playing an excellent job. You know, you're basically uh, – how much uh, how much film do you watch of, like, Richard Sherman and all those guys to get yourself better? I watch a lot. Probably, like, a video almost every day, just learning new things. I watch other people, too. But, like, he's probably, like, the main person. The them, too. Person. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I definitely do love that right there, man. And tell you what, you're doing, again, an excellent job, of course. You know, you guys are – in the playoffs, almost because I think one more, you know, if you guys be pulling, which we'll get to again soon, you guys will be going to state semis almost, you know, what, well, again, before state semis, uh, should be a big one over here. But I guess now, you know, uh, you're basically in this thing over here now, you know, your freshman year, of course, 2018, let's go back to that bit. You know, it was tough for you guys. Um, only I remember your win, I think it was against Bishop Larson or something like that. Uh, of course, I got the revenge 2019, but 2018, you know, you guys finished one and nine. Larry Kemp, who was all, all time, who coached me there, uh, you know, he was basically uh, moved on. They both moved on from each other, him, Ursland. And for a while there, I, I don't know if you guys thought that who your uh, head coach was really going to be. If, and then the rumors started coming around that Dan Reardon was coming back. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, I heard that one when I went to a Mooney game. And next thing you know, Coach Reardon comes back. He gives you guys a little seat in the cafeteria. <laughs> Did you know right away that possibly, um, you know, everything was just going to change right there? I knew it was going to change. Once, like, people told me, like, he won all the state champions. Like, I didn't even know that. I didn't know who it was at first. But, like, once I knew that, I knew he was going to win sometime sooner or later. Right there. So, he, so basically, before he was – so, basically, we're picking on Coach Greer again over here. Coach, man, I, I got to pick on you a bit now. But uh, so, basically, what you're saying is, you know, because you're a young guy, of course, young, talented athlete, you uh, basically said, Coach Reardon, who's Coach Reardon over here? I don't even know who that is. And then all of a sudden, you're like, well, dude, you don't know who Coach Reardon is? He's a three-time state champion over here. Then you're like, I have to look at this up. Then I imagine you looked up him. You looked up uh, players that, of course, you know, it's one of your coaches now, Jesse Curry. Yeah. Uh, you looked at the Frascos, who, of course, was playing underneath him for a bit there, too. I imagine a lot of, you know, other players, stuff like that. And just looking at this team now, I mean, look at your guys' schedule this year. It's definitely a good schedule. Because a lot of those teams last year, you know, it was tough when you guys played them in 2019. You know, you guys were definitely, uh, you know, it's not as good as you once were. But what has changed, do you think, from, you know, playing the teams of 2019 to now just winning against them, basically? Of course, nearly being Warren Harding, too, a team that beat you 34 nothing in 2019. 20, you know, lose by four. Uh, what's been really the whole difference? Focus, really. And just playing hard every play. Like, playing hard, like, it's your last play of the game. Like, you just got to keep fighting. So just keep playing hard. Keep playing hard every single second of the down. Yes. That's all that matters right there. Yeah. I'd imagine, too, it was a lot of experience that, come, that came back. Of course, you know, you have Brady Shannon, your quarterback, Matthew Reardon, a little bit of help there with T.G. <laughs> Dilworth as well. Uh, you know, before the injury, you know, Dean Boyd came back too. You know, he had a break. He he was very underrated last year. Has some offers coming in now. Um, speaking of offers, I guess we could say, have any colleges? You know, I know you're only a junior right now, but has any uh, you know, different schools been looking at you? 
I talked to one school. I mean, I've been like, I mean, like, I've been, my coach has been telling me some schools been looking at me. Oh, really? So, uh, in case, I don't know if you have any good inside information over here, but uh, what schools? Toledo, Camp, you know. Hey, 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 Toledo, Toledo's a great school. Come on now. They have a really good football program. Yeah. I uh, went to a king camp there in their stadium. It's a, the Glass Bowls, they call it. It's a nice place. I think that'd be a, <clears throat> a great place for you, especially some other offers. Who knows? Maybe uh, with Doug Phillips now at the head of YSU and him, you know, recently been offering some Ursula players some deals, you know, you might be next on the table right there. Yeah. So you better look out for that too. And since I work at YSU Athletics too, you know, you might have to see me. You'll see me there a bit every day if you go. So, uh, that's a big one there. But um, so let's actually now move ahead real quick to um, let's let's move around a bit to Poland. Okay, so here's the game that we want to talk about. This is basically game of the week over here. Poland, one of the best teams in the area. Their only loss was the South Range this year by three points, and that was week one. Ever since then, they've been winning like crazy, win after win after win. Uh, they got a big win last week. Um. They, they're just incredible. I know they have a really good uh, offense right there. What have you guys seen on film about this Poland team? They like throwing the ball a lot. Like throwing the ball a lot right there? They like running the ball a lot. Yeah, run, I was about to say. Run, I was about to say yeah. right there. You know, I, th- I think – no, you're good, man. Look, I think they have a pretty good quarterback too. You know, I've yeah. seen them throw, a, throw a bit. You know, they had some great completions in that game. Uh, you know, I mean, it was a blowout. One, first of all, like you don't get any better than that if you're Poland. But – you know, I know both the teams on Friday love the ground pound a bit. So this is going to be ground pound, a little bit of pass against speed, run, and a lot of pass. Um, what have you seen out of their defense now? Uh, they play. They run to the ball like every play. I've seen that. They like hitting. They like hitting. Yeah. Run, so they like run to the ball, basically. Yeah. And so basically what you're saying is that they kind of like, you know, do they run to the ball, of course, is a big one. But do they maybe like the blitz a lot is what you're saying. Maybe it's once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. They're mo- okay, so my, basically they're playing like, what, the cover kind of, right? They're playing yeah. a little bit of the cover right there. And basically the whole thing is they're just trying to play the middle part, get the middle linebackers going, and try and tackle you guys, try and uh, come in as much as possible afterwards. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about there. Okay. Uh, so, you know, that's, of course, again, that Poland game will, in fact, be Saturday. That will be, I think, 7 p.m. as well. Uh, watch the Kylan and the Irish, you know, try and ball out, try and win this big game. And, of course, you know, I'm going to try and pull up the uh, schedule over here. But if you guys win that game right over here, you if it loads, yeah, if it loads over here, you guys will, of course, play the winner of Canal Fulton Northwest or Mentor Lake Catholic. And I know you guys, after last year against Mentor Lake Catholic, I bet you guys are wanting to play them again, aren't you? Yes. I mean, just how, if you guys win this game, first of all, how bad – and Maryland Catholic, Catholic wins, of course, their game. And, you know, they, of course, blew you guys out last year. How bad is it going to be to want revenge on them? It's going to be really bad. Like, we just want it, like, bad. Like, you just and, want – you yes, just want to them like that. Is that yeah, right? we just – we just want revenge. Yeah, right. definitely. A lot of people want revenge indeed, but, you know, as they say, Jack Island, one game at a time, of course. Yeah, so yes. You got to focus first on Poland, and then you got to see who wins that. Uh, but, you know, whoever you guys play after that, it should be a good game. Of course, you guys are on fire right now. Uh, if you want to catch this uh, Poland, if you want to catch oh, Poland Ursuline, it's nine ninety nine on YSN Saturday. If you buy the game, 25% goes to uh, the school. But also, the new thing now for fan appreciation for us here at YSN, if you also buy this game for $9.99, you get all the games. So, you know, it doesn't matter what day, you know, if it's a Friday and you buy a game, you get all the games there. If it's a Saturday, you buy Ursula Poland, you get all the games there as well. So, uh, Jacqueline, one more thing real quick. You know, I usually like throwing off some uh, random questions here at the end and stuff like that. And, you know, it's the ones that I told you about, but you have to, you know, kind of think at or you don't have to think of it. So, I'm going to give you a rapid fire. All right. You ready, man? Yeah. All right. So, favorite college team and NFL team? I like Ohio State and the 49ers. Ohio State and the 49ers? Okay. Uh, favorite pregame music to listen to every time you walk in that locker room? Uh, NBA Youngboy, Bad Bat. Oh, man. Very good. Uh, all right. Uh, favorite pregame meal? Pasta. Pasta? Oh, sir. You know, I've, I saw it. Chip- you know, if you're in uh, – all the Anthony's last week, you know, they were talking to me about how they like all this Chick-fil-A. I didn't, I'm surprised you didn't pick that right there. I'm surprised you picked the carbs instead. All right. Uh, 
How about your favorite when you're drink? How about when you also get the meal? Favorite Gatorade drink? It doesn't matter to drink any Gatorade. I just see. Oh, I thought you had a. I thought you had some sort of flavor that you needed nah. to go back there in your system. <laughs> All right, and the final one I should say. Uh, how about favorite video game? Fortnite or 2K. Fortnite or 2K. Oh, you know, I thought I thought you were gonna say like Madden, dude. You're not a Madden player at all. I don't know, like I don't wanna play Madden. Oh, uh, you you don't like the new Madden. So you're you're most of the fans. You don't like the new Madden. You'd rather play Mike Fick, old school Madden, <laughs> and all that, right? <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, so Kyle and man, you know, uh, thank you for coming on, man. You know, it's a pleasure to have you on. You know. Of course, you're one of the best receivers at Ursuline right now. Very good cornerback, too. Uh, you know, we'll see maybe if you can hey, cause some guys. fumbles and pick off some Bulldogs this week. Once again, this is for Kyle and Irvin, of course, wide receiver cornerback for Youngstown Ursuline. He's a junior right now. Uh, you know, has a great education, has a great career going for him. And let's also not forget, he has a big game this week at Poland against the Poland Bulldogs, which, again, you could buy that game for $9.99 on YSN Saturday, 7 p.m. 25% goes to the school. And you get all the games. Chakala, man. It was a pleasure having you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, man. So we tell you what now, here's the thing. You sleep well. You sleep well tomorrow. Have a good practice tomorrow. Have a good little walkthrough that you guys do. And then Saturday, man, you know, it's go time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. You have a good night. You too. Bye.